Welcome to the Create Your Laptop Life podcast, where entrepreneurs all around the world come to learn how to market and grow their online business right from their laptops wherever they are. We don't have traditional nine to five jobs and we don't want them because financial and lifestyle security and freedom is too important to us. We know the world is changing for the better and that the freelance and entrepreneur economy is the cleaner, greener, smarter way to work for both families and businesses. My name is Julie and this podcast will teach you everything you need to know about creating and growing your laptop life. Hey everyone, hope you're doing amazing. Today I want to walk you through exactly what you need for an epic list building funnel. So you know that list growth is important. You know that owning email addresses and phone numbers of your prospects is really the only way to hedge against fickle social media and algorithm changes. And you have heard all the list building strategies, but you know what? You would just love a really clear, comprehensive, what do I need for an epic list building strategy in 2022? So that's what I'm going to do today is go through all of that. So the first thing that you need is a very, very, very curious, juicy, irresistible free offer. And the only way that you're going to come up with one of those is if you understand exactly who your customer is. So I want you to sit down, think about who your customer is, who your ideal customer is, and think about what it is they really want right now. What is going to just get them off their chair and get them moving? And that is the free offer that you're going to create. Not all free offers are the same. Typically, free offers that require a high level of commitment, like a webinar, video training, a course, are going to be harder to get people to say yes to than things like PDFs, swipe files, digital assets, things that are quick and easy and shortcut-like. Now, that doesn't go across the board. You may design a lead magnet that really needs to be comprehensive and that's fine but just think about that when you're coming up with your lead magnet and again curious juicy irresistible knowing who that customer is so that's step one you need to have that the second thing you need to do is you need to write a very very provocative and curious headline most landing pages for lead magnets do not need anything more than a headline, a tagline, and a call to action. It's three sentences. Spend time on those three sentences. And in fact, I would argue that it may even make sense to work on the three sentences first and then build the free offer to match those sentences. That's how you make sure you get something that's really, really irresistible. The third thing you need is a visual representation of the free gift. Now, it's hard sometimes when you are selling information, it doesn't feel tangible, but we need some sort of really good looking visual representation of that lead magnet. So you need the the juicy, irresistible content itself, you need the three sentences, which are the headline, the tagline, and the call to action, and you need the visual representation of it. Now, once you have those three pieces, everything else comes much easier. First, you want to actually put those three pieces together on a landing page and then a thank you page. So you want to get that all designed. You want to make sure that it's mobile optimized. And because there's so little copy and so little in terms of of actual information on the page, there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to get everything above the scroll, which means on desktop, nobody has to scroll. Even ideally on mobile, nobody has to scroll. This is how you get people's attention quickly. So you're going to get that funnel done and you're going to get that up. Now, when people actually opt in, you need to make sure they check their inbox to get the lead magnet. So you don't want to just deliver the lead magnet on the thank you page because then people can put junk email addresses in. So you want to, on the thank you page, direct people to go to their inbox. Once in their inbox, that email, that first email that has that lead magnet is incredibly important. Why? Because people are going to open it. It is probably going to be your highest open rate email ever. So you want to spend time thinking about what you want to say there, whether it's inviting them to a group or inviting them to follow you on social media or inviting them to a training You want to do whatever you can to get as much pertinent information in that email because that is the email they're going to open up most. 
After that, you want a five-part welcome series. Now, if you're listening to this and you're like, oh, that's a lot of work, don't stress. Funnel Gorgeous has actually got one of the easiest welcome sequence templates to write ever. It is a free gift. You can go over to FunnelGorgeous.com and snag that. So you're going to get that email sequence done and that's going to fire every day or every other day for the first five days after someone opts into your lead magnet. You want to make sure that you're actually sending them somewhere to take the next step with you. Otherwise, you just have a freebie seeker. So those are all the things you need to actually get a great email lead magnet list strategy out the door. Now, once you have it, what do you do next? And what you do next is important because we have different types of marketing channels for getting email addresses. The first one, which is the most common, is social media. And you can put basically a link anywhere on social media, whether it's Facebook, TikTok, LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, all of those places, you want to have a memorable and easy link that you can put on social. And if you have something like Instagram where you want to have a highlight or um, a post talking about it, that's even better. So that's social media traffic. The next type of traffic is search traffic. And search traffic means that people are actively searching for content to solve their problems. So depending on what your lead magnet is, you want to think about what would the ideal customer be typing into Google, into Pinterest, into Amazon that relates to your lead magnet. Now for most people, the easiest way to start getting search traffic is to have something like a blog where you can look up all the keywords related to what that lead magnet is. Of course, you can try to get the lead magnet itself ranked, but there's not a lot of copy on that page. So what's better to do is to actually write up some blog posts that are keyword rich and get those on your site with a bunch of visual links and images that ask them to opt in for that content upgrade. Probably my most famous example of this was I there was a blogger that I knew who was already getting search traffic for a chocolate chip cookie recipe and I had her make a lead magnet and attach it to that blog post and she went from you know very very slow list growth to just crazy list growth because people were going to this recipe and then opting in for the free lead magnet so we're kind of doing it a little bit in reverse Another option you could do is create some YouTube videos, you could create some podcast episodes, Um, heck, you could even add the link to a free Kindle downloadable ebook if that's what you're doing, and those are all a little bit more time sensitive, or uh, not time sensitive, time intensive, but those are some ways to get search traffic. The third way, the third bucket is relationship. Now, relationship traffic is things like speaking on stage, affiliate promotions, getting PR and media, reaching out to JV partners, things like that. So you want to think about who are the people in your network who would love to be able to promote this. Maybe they just are going to ask you on their stage or they're going to ask you on the podcast and you can then offer it to people. But you want to really target those people who are most likely to click on that link. This is another reason why you want the link to be easy to remember because if you're on a podcast episode, you want to be able to say something simple like, hey, go to FunnelGorgeous.com versus, hey, go to GorgeousFunnels.com forward slash email lead magnet, right? Nobody's going to remember that. No one's going to type that in. The fourth bucket of traffic is paid, and this is where you can see a lot of traction very quickly. You can run Facebook ads, Instagram ads, TikTok ads, Pinterest ads, Google ads, (laughs) YouTube ads to this lead magnet and just basically supercharge all your efforts. And it is amazing what you can do with one really good lead magnet. So if we we come back to what we were talking about, about how important it is to have that sort of juicy, irresistible lead magnet, once you have it, once it's built, there's really unlimited potential of where this, this offer can go and how quickly you can build your list. And then with that email sequence that's firing in the back end, you can convert between 1% and 5% of those people into customers. So that is the strategy. I hope that helps. I hope you have an amazing January and I'll talk to you soon. If you're ready to create, grow, scale your online business, you can go to createyourlaptoplife.com forward slash podcast and get a free plan on how you can get started today.